We got lobster. It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and Catherine, and we are here at the Palms Casino in Las Vegas at Tim Ho Wan. This is dim sum, Chinese dim sum, some of the most famous dim sum in the world. And we're gonna be getting the most expensive <laughs> dim sum they have here at Tim Ho Wan. So let's take a look at the menu. As you can see, you just have a pencil that you write, a little mark as to whatever you want to order and how many. That's it. <laughs> I love dim sum and we've been here before yeah. and this is some of the best dim sum you can get. Probably in the world. Yeah. I can't wait. I, I don't know what to pick yet. Well, yeah. we're going to pick the most expensive food. Okay. So start with that. All right. So the most expensive thing of all, it looks like, is this, the pan fried rice roll with house made XO sauce. So we're definitely gonna have that. Oh, the wonton soup is $12.95. You, you like wonton soup, it's one wonton of your favorites, soup. right? I do, it's good. Okay. We've got to the market price. Oh, you're right, there's things that say market, market price. price. So that's probably the most expensive yeah, thing. Yeah. All right. What are our choices for market price? All right, price so we've items. got steamed Maine lobster, classic steamed sea bass, and steamed garlic shrimp. And they all say MP, that's market price. Yeah. <laughs> In other words, that's the most expensive food here at Tim Ho Wan. So, not technically dim sum, but we gotta get one of those. Yeah. So let's, we'll just ask whichever one's the most expensive when we get that one. <laughs> I mean, we're in Las Vegas. So Las Vegas is about indulgence and uh, all you can eat. If you want all you can eat, you can go over to the, the Ace Buffet here also at the Palms. That's one of the best buffets in Las Vegas. Today we're at Tim Ho Wan right. at the Palms. All right, let's take a look at what we're putting in for our order here. This is the wonton noodle soup for $12.95. The pan fried rice roll with house made exo sauce, $16.95. Steamed shrimp dumplings, that's the hargao, and the steamed pork dumplings, that's the shumai. Those are just $7.95 each. The steamed short rib of black pepper sauce, which is $14.95, and then one of these three market price items, lobster, sea bass, or garlic shrimp, whichever one's the most expensive. I'm gonna guess it's the lobster. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be the lobster too. <laughs> so that'll be one, two, three, four, five things plus the most expensive dish. We'll get six items here at Tim Ho Wan. Okay. Okay. So the only thing we don't have right now is the abalone. Oh, okay. That's fine. But we have the sea bass, we have the lobster, and we have the garlic shrimp, steamed shrimp. Okay. So can you tell me what the market prices are on these three? Because we want to get whatever, which one is the most expensive. $78 is the lobster, $58 the sea bass, and $48 the steamed shrimp. Okay. I guess we're getting the lobster. We'll do the lobster for we'll those, because that's yeah. the most expensive one, that's right? The most expensive okay. One, yeah. okay, so we'll get that, and we're gonna get a couple other things here okay. too. I like that even before we got our food, we got some sauces here yes. for our dim sum. That's right. This was I remember. This, he said this was a house sauce. The house sauce. And this was this chili oil. Right. This, chili this oil. was a garlic chili. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I'm so excited. I'm just hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah. That's a wonton soup. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Best of the best. Awesome. Oh, Thank right. you. You guys should try this too. This is our Michelin star. The this is the, that's the famous one, right? The oh, baked barbecue pork very buns. Very okay, put it in order that for okay, us Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is what they're famous for, right. the baked barbecue pork buns. But what we've got oh, here so, so, so is so the, good. yeah, this is the pan fried rice roll with house made exo sauce. Mm. And we've got wonton soup. Yeah, wonton noodle soup. You see a thin yes. noodle in the bowl. Ooh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then there's more. I guess that's the hard gal here. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. The hard gal, one of our favorites, mm -hmm. maybe my ultimate favorite dim sum. It's like me to. Would you like me to pour you some yes, please. hot tea? Thank that you. is hot. Careful. Thank you. All right. Mm. Smells so really nice. Yeah, look at that. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, do you smell that jasmine? Yeah, it's very floral. Oh, really it's coral. like a oolong or jasmine, whatever it is, that smells amazing. Oh, nice. This is a good start, right? This. Get some tea. 
Now, let's try. Here we go. Let okay. me give you some soup here. Give you a wonton. Thank you. We have another dish coming right now. Ah, oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That shumai looks amazing. We have one more. Yes. Oh, the short ribs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Oh, those look great. Thanks. Mm. Thank you. Our oh. table is filling up. Yes, look at that. <laughs> we have a full table of Chinese food and more to come. Yeah. So that lobster. Yeah. Should we try the yes. broth and yes. the wonton? Yes. Wow. Mm. This is perfect. This is like has just that that it just reminds me of a, of every Chinese restaurant I've ever been in. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, I just ate the wonton right now, one yeah. bite, and the filling is so good. Mm. And the wrapper's mm. thin. The wonton wrapper itself is really thin, so it doesn't taste too doughy. It's no, not at all, and it's juicy. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, I see some lobster oh coming. This Our way. lobster might be here. Room for it? There you go. Where do you want this? Right, right in the here. center. Right. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thanks. We got lobster. Yeah, now this is a lobster right here. Chinese lobster at Tim Ho Wan in Las Vegas. Oh, here we go. The famous <laughs> signature buns. Thank you. Put this right here. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Wow. This is what Tim Ho Wan mm -hmm. is probably most famous for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are the golden baked barbecue pork buns. Mm -hmm. We've had these before. They're amazing. Yeah. They are one of the best things to get here. <laughs> let's eat. Okay. Let's eat, please. <laughs> okay. Like. All right. Let's try, I guess we'll start with these. You wanna start with these yeah, buns? Yeah, yeah. And just, oh, they're nice and hot. hot. Very, it feels very light. Okay, ooh, yeah, it's right. very delicate. Very right. delicate, very light. Okay, here we go. Mm. That is so light. It's like it's mm. almost, it's like light as air. It's pillowy. And it's got it's... barbecue pork inside. Mm -hmm. mm. That sweet texture, crunchy texture of the outer dough, mm. outer shell, and that barbecue pork. Mm. Wow. I'm so glad we got these two. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, I'd say this is a must try every time you come to Tim Ho Wan. There's a reason it's a signature dish. This. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow, it was actually a great way to start. Now there's three, so we're gonna have to split this third one here. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Let's rate this food, yes. each one of these items, yes. out of 10, zero to 10. Okay. I cannot wait to rate these because I've got to rate these a 10 for sure. <laughs> yeah. A 10. What do you think? Yep. I want to give it a 10, but I feel like I'm going to start that high. Okay. I'll well. give it a 9.5. All right. Which I know is just shy of 10. <laughs> yeah. But and what about the soup? We we did we did try the soup yes. already. I thought the wonton was great. Yeah. I, I'm going to give this an 8.5. So I'm going to give the wonton The noodles are a little hard to, to yeah. get out without being really messy. Right. Which I guess is the case always, but right. I'll give it an 8. Okay. It's good. Okay. I think it's fair. What I'm really curious about is this, because this is Ooh. one of the most expensive things that wasn't market price. No. If you want to try some of oh, these. Oh, yes, please. These the, are the rice rolls. Yes, please. They're called, what are they called exactly? These are the pan-fried rice roll with house-made XO sauce. Yeah, there we go. House-made XO mm -hmm. sauce, pan-fried rice rolls. Some bean sprouts as well. Yep. All right, let's give these a try. See how these rate zero to ten. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. there's like 
a slight spiciness too. Mm. You know, you would think that, oh, it's just rice noodle is gonna be very plain, but that house-made XO sauce. Yeah, it's a, oh, it's like a. It's a great vehicle for the sauce. It's sort of like this, one of this hot chili sauce over here, mm. but like mixed mm. with something else. Oh, wow. It kind of tastes like a, like a, a chow fun. Oh yeah, that's a good, yeah. that's a good comparison. It does taste like that. That's very good. I love that sauce. I'd also give that an eight. Eight okay. out of ten. Okay. I would give that a. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean that's still that's a very high rating. It I is think, very high so. rating. It's very high. There's no protein uh, or anything in it, it but it's very this good. This tea is amazing. <laughs> I'm the tea? at least a nine out of ten mm -hmm. on the tea. Maybe nine point five. I don't usually like to go half points, but if we're gonna go half points, the tea I would say nine point five. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Okay. I'll give it a nine. I'm giving it a nine. Now this is everything we ordered, right? One, two, three, four, five, six dishes, and the extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this. So, so this is everything we ordered here. How about these ribs? They're yes. looking me right in the face here. Yes. You want to try one of those? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. More tea. This is the. Ah, it's on the way here. Thank you very much. So these are the short ribs, right? The steamed short rib. Yeah. Oh boy. It's steamed pork spare? No, it's spare. No, not the spare ribs. It's oh here, the steamed short ribs with black pepper sauce. Okay. All right, let's try these. Right. They're on the bone. There is a bone. Got to be yeah. careful. Okay. I'm going to have to pick it up with my hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I'll have even more black peppery sauce ones. Yeah. Not too black peppery. Not too black peppery. It's tender. That's spicy. It's tender. There's a little little bits of uh, gristle or something, but they actually taste good. Mm. And just a little difficult to eat on the bone, but flavor-wise, I like it. I think it could be pepper peppery. -er, yeah, but I would want to be more peppery. It's still pretty good. I maybe I'd give this like a, a seven point five. I'm giving it a seven. Seven. Okay. Seven. I want more pepper. If it's black pepper sauce, I want more pepper. Okay. This came out first. Yes. This is the har gao, which mm -hmm. I believe it's just like shrimp. Yes. Or shrimp paste or both inside. That's usually what's inside. Yeah, this looks like it's just a steamed shrimp dumpling. Okay. okay. I'm not going to try with any sauce first. I'm going to try it as is. Yeah. Yes. A little sticky into the paper a little bit, but little not bit. too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. There we go. Ready? That was easy. This is when you do want to use your sauces, yes. I think. Definitely want to yeah. use them. We each have our own tray of three sauces, mm -hmm. so now we can each dip properly. We can dip with abandon. <laughs> All right, this is like the house sauce and maybe a little, a little chili. Okay. Oh, I thought man. the shrimp itself tasted really good. Nice it's and plump. Yeah, nice and plump. Tastes like plump and big yeah. shrimp. It tastes very like fresh. It doesn't taste like it's sitting. Mm. And I also like the wrapper a lot. Wrapper is very delicate. Mm. What sauce did you dip yours in? A little bit of the house sauce and a little bit of the chili oil. Okay. I'm going to go garlic. Oh, yeah. On mine. With a little sous-son of the house sauce. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Mm. These are some of my favorite dim sum because they're very simple. Mm. It's literally just shrimp in a wrapper, and you can put it to whatever sauces you like. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's a that's a solid like eight out of ten for me. What do you think? I would give it also an eight. I agree with you. It's good. I like the quality of the shrimp a lot, and I thought the wrapper was very delicate. Yeah. Nothing too doughy. That's a big issue with sometimes. Now with the shumai, 
Yeah, that. sometimes you're right. It can be a little thick. That was very yes. thin, actually. No, I really enjoy that. Right. Like literally, Tim Hoan, it's some of the best dim sum and Chinese food you can get. So like, mm -hmm. when we say an eight, I mean that would be a ten anywhere else. So. Right. So this is pork and shrimp right. dumplings. Right. Right. Shuma. Looks like we have a goji berry on top as well, yes. just by the shuma. Right. Yes. Shrimp mm -hmm. and pork. Okay. I'm gonna try mine again without sauce first. Sure. I'm gonna try the filling. That's a really good balance of the shrimp and the pork filling. It is. It's a little, mm. it's just like, just like the hargao. It's a little flavorless in a way. It's a little has a little more flavor because of the pork, but not as much as I was expecting. Let's right. try it with the sauces because okay. right now, if I was going to rate these, I'd give, I'd also give this like an eight out of ten. Okay. And I'd, I'd say you know it would be like a nine at a regular restaurant. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this other sauce, like you, like, what, almost like a sambal or something. Yeah, it's a garlic spice. It's, it's pretty spicy, so just so you know. Mm. It does look like sambal. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, it's lobster time. And this is a good looking lobster. Let me, we have two tails. It looks like it has all the innards and everything yeah. too. It's we have like some a, crab crackers yeah, or like lobster split. crackers. Yeah, it's like Tail split, we've got crap claws. All right, here we go. Here's the lobster tail. Steamed Maine lobster. You know, it's still got all the legs on it and everything. <laughs> it really does. Oh, there you go. Got there caught. we are. Wow. Okay, here you go. Thank you. And all right. And there's sauce. Plenty of sauce in the bottom Plenty there. Plenty of sauce. All right. Ooh. All right, I mean, look at that. It's like, we're gonna need a bigger plate. <laughs> I think we might. Let's see what we can do with these small All right, let's eat. Now. Lobster tail. Yeah. Market price. Yeah. Here, Tim Ho Wan. Yeah. Got to do some handling. Yeah, ooh. Thank you. Getting a piece out right now. There we go, okay. Very tender. Yeah. And you get that ginger flavor yeah, the from ginger, the sauce. The ginger mm. broth that it's steamed in is so Yeah, we could probably get, nice. put a little more on here. Ooh, that's really That's nice. full of flavor. It's Ooh. so warm. It feels yes. very comforting, that ginger. Yeah, yeah. and something very... about the meat is very yeah. comforting. It's, yeah. it's like, it's not totally melty soft, but it's definitely very tender. Mm -hmm. It's very tender. Yeah, but I love the flavor. Like that, that the ginger broth. The ginger, garlic, or whatever it's made of. Yeah. It definitely tastes like a Chinese broth. Yeah. And on this lobster, it's incredible. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I wish I was an expert in eating lobsters, because I'm not. Because, like, I'm already done with this. I imagine there's stuff you can get out of the, these spindly legs, but I mean, I don't <laughs> even know how. But we do have claws. some claws. We can work our way through some of these. Yes. Yeah. I love that there's all this broth here. I almost wish we had just some rice. That's what I was thinking. You yeah. know, maybe we should put that on the rice rolls, or, or <laughs> we, can, we can always order more. We can always more rice. I wouldn't want the broth to wash away the XO sauce on those. I know. Oh. Yeah, they got the, the tamale stuff in there. Mm -hmm. I can see it's that green goo yes. right there. But are you going to eat it? Or yes. are you just moving it out of the way? No, I'm trying to get the ginger oh, and yeah. peppers and onions that's on top mixed in. Oh, yeah, because you can see big slivers of ginger and pepper mm -hmm. and stuff. It's just creamy. All right, I guess I've... I'll try a little. Okay. I paid for it. Yeah. Uh, maybe with the, you, you got it with a, oh, look at this. Yes, I got it with the garlic and the onion, green onion. It's like grains. Thank you. 
but it's 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 like the guts, right? It's like the innards, the the tamale. The, the tamale. Yes. Try it. All right. That's a delicacy. You know, it's not too bad. It's actually very creamy. Yeah. And eating it with a sliver of the ginger and the sliver of a red pepper, mm -hmm. it's totally edible. Yeah. <laughs> totally edible. And actually, you're right. It just, maybe I just had some bad tamale before. I think you might have. I think having it with this, these, this broth and these vegetables, like the garlic yeah. and the ginger, that really... Yeah, because I did have tamale before. Mm. At Seafood Shack. <laughs> you check out that video. But for now, that, this is actually really good. Yes. I can't believe it. Yes. I literally ate the guts. Yeah. And it was delicious. Good, good. That's how good this lobster is. <laughs> mm. Oh, I just got another like piece of lobster meat that I missed. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot more bits and bobs of meat mm. to procure from the tail. Yeah, it's even like a little bit show. in the tail. Yeah. Here. You do that. I want to try just this broth. Okay. I'm putting into my mm. wonton spoon, Great. my wonton soup spoon separately because I just want to try this broth. Oh wow, that broth is so. <laughs> what? I know. Whatever it was steamed in. Oh, that's so good. I would love to have that over rice. I'm gonna do what I said. I'm gonna put it in the on the with the mm. rice roll. Oh okay. Let's see. That does. It's really good. It's a really good broth. It's like its own soup. It's its own soup. It's like having a buffet here. If you order enough food, it, it turns into a buffet. And you can mix and match to your liking. Absolutely. Like at a buffet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the claws. Yes. Do you like your claw? Yes, please. Good move over yes, here for a second. We need some room for the claw. Yeah. I put mine here on top of yours for now. Thank you. Wow. It actually looks quite large. Mm -hmm. They're cracked already, but they provided... Yes, we do have this for an emergency, but let's see what right. we can do. On our own. Oh, oh. look at that. Came out fairly nicely. Mm. Oh. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, look, that's all the like everything, yeah, came everything. in there. That was easy actually. That's good. And just one more piece. I've got to try to. Yeah, I actually here. have a I still have a bunch of meat in this part of it. <laughs> like all the shell is kind Oh of, yeah. But I got a nice big piece to try yes, first. Me too. I have a big chunk here. Ready? Yeah, right, let's just dip it. We might as well dip it oh, in this right. sauce. Sure. We can do whatever we want. Yo. All right. Mm. Oh, that's so good. There's a little piece of sharp cartilage, so be careful. Careful, careful about. <laughs> but mm. other than that, don't want to pierce your tongue with that. No, but no. yeah, this is so good. The sauce is perfection. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that sauce with the lobster. There's something about it, it's very mm -hmm. complimentary. Mm -hmm. And maybe because it's so light and it balances out the lobster. And there's something of like there's something very like that all the sauces and flavors and everything here kind of has a it feels like connected in yeah. a way. Like yeah. they're all related and relevant mm -hmm. to each other. Mm -hmm. So it works mm -hmm. together as a really great yeah. whole meal yeah everything's very complimentary it's this is very good i, th I thought the lobster was very good we've had a lot of lobster we've been very fortunate to have yeah had a enjoyed a lot of lobster yeah yeah here. this has got to be it's one of the biggest. best now i just wish it was bigger <laughs> but yeah agree but, but still and that's the way lobster goes you know yes. it's expensive uh and you know it's just like the more the bigger it is the more expensive it is yeah and this is the most expensive food here yes that's him Hawan, the lobster. More shell. <laughs> Be careful. It's like there's 
there's danger as well when you're eating the lobster. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. It's so good. Kind of getting slippery. All right, so how do we rate the lobster? Okay. Is the last thing we have to rate? Zero to ten? Zero to ten. All right, this time you go first. Okay. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm giving it a nine. That's what I was thinking yeah. too. It's the only, the sauce, a 10. Yeah. Like 10 out of 10 yeah. for sure for the sauce. The only reason is there's not as much meat as I would like, but right. also I kept poking myself in the tongue, but that could <laughs> be my own fault. I'm sure it is, yeah. but. I wish it was a touch larger, but you know, that's, you know, that's the nature of lobster. But a solid nine out of 10 for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Because I think the preparation is what's key. Like that ginger, Garlic yes, yes. sauce is so light, and that broth, like I said, I want this over rice. I just want to eat it as is. It's delicious. Yes, the flavors are really the star here. I really yeah, think everything yeah. has its own unique yeah, flavor, but yeah. all the flavors work together as well. Yeah, I would say really good. The same thing. I agree with that. So, what would we say is our favorite item? Ooh, our favorite item. I mean, oh boy. For me, it's still it has to be these things. I know. These are incredible. I know. We have one. We're gonna have to split. I know. <laughs> or we could get more. Oh, we could. Make it an even six <laughs> yeah. across the board. My favorites, honestly, I, was, I love the signature barbecue bun. It's fantastic. I love the rice roll with the exo sauce. Yeah. So good. I love that. That was your favorite? That was like literally my very close second favorite, but I do love the barbecue oh, so, bun. So the, 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 also, I agree with you. My, mine is also the barbecue bun. Oh, it is the barbecue bun. Yeah. Buns. Okay. That's also okay. My favorite. Yeah. So these are it's so good. All right, so these are a must try. Nice, Absolutely, yes. 10 out of 10, the best thing we had here. Yeah. But everything else is amazing too. And my second, believe yeah. it or not, was the lobster. Oh, nice. I really think that that lobster is also a must try. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did, I liked everything else too as well. Mm -hmm. But, and the, all the standard dim sum, it's great. It's definitely as good or better than any other dim sum place. Yeah. But some of these things are exceptional, like that, yeah. like that. Bun. Yeah, I would definitely, if you were coming here for something fast, I would get the buns for sure. Don't miss that. That's why it's a signature dish. Yes, the baked barbecue pork bun. So you know exactly what to order. Baked barbecue pork buns, three pieces. Mm -hmm. that, is, that should be the most expensive food here okay. at Tim Ho Wan. Yeah, agreed. It's really hey, good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to subscribe for more. It's free. Unlike this food. It's very expensive. <laughs> and for everything we ordered here today at Tim Ho Wan, including the main lobster, $158.99.